It's just about these people trying to show love in the face of hate. There's so much hate going on in the world right now and I thought that Romeo and Juliet would be a really good story to tell right now. Romeo and Juliet has been done many times before. It's a story that everybody knows. We wanted to do something different with it. We wanted to make it more relevant to today. No, Romeo is kind of that stereotypical little sad boy who's in love with uh, a girl and then you know, finds another girl and becomes really in love with her to the point where it becomes a little messy. It's kind of cool to try to play with those traditional ways that people have played it to try to maybe switch it up a little bit. Juliet's hopeful, uh, but she's also very naive in love. And I find that I'm trying to play her as sort of, she's smart and she's strong and she's bold. I wanted it to be my ideas, Darren's ideas, and I wanted it to be a lot of the cast's ideas as well. I wanted them to shape their characters and figure out who they are and I wanted their vision to be a part of it. Romeo and Juliet, I think, is important because it's kind of the transcendent love story. Even though everything is heightened and larger than life and Shakespearean, I think at its core, everyone can relate to it. It's two people meeting, having a connection, falling in love. There's loss, there's grief, there's lust. There's everything that you go through when you meet someone, no matter how um, high the stakes are.